what's going on guys uh welcome back to another car review video this is a 2024 bmw x5 m60i and this vehicle basically is fully loaded it has all the options that you could check off the box this one is shown in skyscraper gray it does have the upgraded pirelli 20 two inch wheels with the bmw m sport red calipers in the front and of course in the back going around the back something that is pretty unique is this vehicle does have a trailer hitch equipped although i did not looking at the towing capacity but i'd imagine it's around 7500 pounds at the very least this car is producing 553 horsepower, actually 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Again, this car does have all the options checked off, so it is equipped with the executive package, M Sport package, which you do get the shadow line grille and of course the shadow line headlights. With the executive package, you also do get the soft close automatic doors. You get the rear manual sunshades. Come on, close. There we go. Soft close automatic doors. Uh, rear manual sunshades. And also you do have the LED lights within the sunroof. Adaptive M suspension, trailer hitch. You also get the 22 inch wheels. The climate comfort package. So of course you have heated seats in the back as well. Ventilated seats in the front. Driver's assistance. And let's go down the list. What else we have here? Really? $250. I guess that's an option if you really wanted it, you could get it. Going down the list, wheel locks, larger compartment mat, first aid kit, $105,820. Going in, again, you have the ivory white extended merino leather for $1950. Again, this car is fully optioned out with absolutely everything that you can get. Let's hop in so we can cut out some of this wind noise. So again, you have 523 horsepower, zero to 16, roughly 4.2 seconds, but I'm sure you could crack under the four second mark with a vehicle that has all this equipment, rides as luxurious as it does and has all the power as it does. Let's start it up. Now, this car does have the 48 volt mild hybrid system. With the 48 volt mild hybrid system, that helps the car get a better fuel efficiency, quicker power, and the way that it works is that it piggybacks off the starter motor, or no, actually the generator is a separate generator that decouples the clutch so when you drive you could actually have better coasting efficiency some crap like that it enables for <laughs> it does enable for better fuel efficiency and it also helps your starter motor um takes the pressure off your starter motor because let's say above 60 degrees engine temperature the 48 volt mild hybrid motor will take over the responsibilities of charging the car. So in the case of that automatic start stop functionality, the 48 volt mild hybrid system would take control of that vehicle. Now, wireless charging, ambient lighting, massage seats. So we could of course turn the massage seats on and you do have different levels of massages within this vehicle, of course. The whole body activation is my favorite because it keeps your whole body moving. Augmented reality, tap this button. You could change the display that's being showed. So if you want augmented reality or if you want your assisted view, this car does have the driver's assistance package. So again, it does have the ability to self-drive, which I will show you guys some of these features as well while I can. Uh, ivory white, so white seat belts. You have the Alcantara headliner of course heads up display if you could see right there heads up display cool full gps and you do get four years of connected roadside assistance 
you have this beautiful trim as well that you don't necessarily get within the standard X5s. So it does have more of a diamond encrusted trim. Fine wood line trim, executive package, so glass controls, glass controls, heated and front, heated seats and steering wheel and armrest. So the armrest also becomes heated as well. Once you turn the armrest or heated seats on and heated steering wheel. This car does have also ventilated seats. In the back seat, you also do have rear heated seats control all the way over here on the left, rear climate controls as well. And LED lights within the panoramic moonroof as well. So this car just came in, so let's go get some gas in it and I'll take you on a drive. With the new iDrive system, just in case some people are curious, this is, if you hit this button, it's gonna bring up your exterior lighting screen. And of course, you could go through the options of what you wanna do, whether if you wanna turn on your low beams, your parking light, exterior light, you could do so individually. Additional settings is more so your comfort settings, such as your welcome and goodbye lights, your one touch turn signal, and your pathway lighting. I'm gonna put this into reverse. We have our top down 360 camera with backup assist and park assist as well. With this M60 version, it would be able to self park with your phone, such as uh, remote control parking, of course. Right now we're driving in comfort mode and right now I have the assisted mode on. I'm gonna change that to the augmented reality view just by going, let's see here, down, we're in augmented reality. Turn signal on. If I had an address in the GPS, then it will show me the arrows, but because I don't have an arrow in the GPS, no arrows being displayed. So, can we drive with the augmented reality screen on? So yes, you can. You could drive with the augmented reality screen on. And right now I am driving in comfort mode and I'm sure you heard the engine. I could quickly switch over into Sport. We're in Sport Plus. Some of that exhaust is being protruded through the interior speakers, but the cracks and pops are real. You can definitely hear them from outside as well. So that's again our augmented reality view. You have your content, you have, of course, your integrated map view as well. Heads up display you could change right now. It's in our sport view because we're in sport mode. A little pops and bangs. And then the last thing I'll show off real quick is we could change our mode. So we could go to our assisted driving mode. Now we have the car self-driving itself and it will do this in sport mode. Again, it's self-driving for up to five seconds. And again, it will follow the traffic ahead of me. Assisted driving mode, so it's starting to slow down because the vehicle in front of me is slowing down. And this car will also stop at red lights as well. So we're gonna switch over to our augmented reality view, going to the right lane. And again, you could see that it tried to lock on the vehicle ahead of me, but I did not want to lock on that vehicle. Again, because we're slowing down, it's not available, but that's part of the self-driving mode. You saw it kind of took over. I took my foot off the gas and it was controlling the steering itself. Um, besides that, everything else is basically standard with the new X5. If you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment below and I can go a little bit more in depth. Massage seats on, driving a 500 horsepower tank. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, any questions you have about the iDrive system and I could try to make a separate video. I did try to make a video on the iDrive 9, however, it did get copyright strike, so I could do that again. But this is just iDrive 8.5. I could go more in depth with it if you really wanted to. Thank you. Subscribe for more. See you in the next video. I5 M60. 
Let's go with the assisted driving mode. So let's turn this on. Whoa. Assisted driving. There we go. Now the vehicle is self-driving itself. However, it's limited to 20 miles an hour. I need to raise the speed limit. Okay. Now the car is self-driving. My hand is off the steering wheel and off the accelerator. My foot's off the accelerator. So 500 horsepower vehicle driving itself. Of course, I can downshift, put some throttle down, and the car will still maintain its lanes while I'll control the throttle. 